Columbus, uh, pull the mic up a little bit to you. What is your full name? Columbus Mitchell. And um, how long have you been, what are you doing today? This is Juneteenth. Yes, yes. What's happening today? Well, today actually we have a celebration here in Selma at the Foot Soldier uh, Park. It's over here on Selma Avenue. But uh, basically, today I'm here uh, welcoming people to the city. I do this every day, and it's just such a great uh, time, especially to do it today because of Juneteenth. But it's always a great time, but especially today. So I get to tell people, welcome to Selma. I get to tell them, happy Juneteenth. And people are just so gracious and so so kind and just happy to be here at the city of Selma. And I just want to be a great ambassador. I just want to be able to give people a great experience. So when they leave here, they'll be able to say, you know what? I really like Selma. How long have you been doing this? Um, I would say around about approximately close to about five, six years now. And I originally started over in the park across the bridge over there. That's the Civil Rights Memorial Park. But I uh, came over here and, uh, and so I've been doing it ever since. Museum, or right. Yourself? I'm doing this myself. A lot of people uh, mistaken me to be part of the museum, but I'm not. I'm just a student of history, someone that uh, really uh, understands the sacrifice that was made by uh, ancestors, great people, both black and white, that came together so that we could have the voting rights. So I just feel like I'm indebted. You see people that come here from all over the world. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. what yes. Are you, what can you tell us about people that come to sell them? Right. Awesome. You know, I had the privilege of meeting people, Randy, from we can start here in all of these United States to Canada, to Brazil, to England, um, to South America, to Africa. You name it. They've been here. They come here because they look at that bridge as a shrine. And they come here because they want to make this pilgrimage. And some people is a part of their bucket list, so they want to be here. And the fact that I'm able to welcome them, it just really just gives me, it just humbles me. Because I understand what was, the sacrifice that was shared in 65 is still, to this day, is still branded in the world. So when they come here, they're looking for not only the bridge, but they want to know what else is here to see. And I'm able to tell them about Brown Chapel, uh, Tapping Up a Baptist and different Boynton homes and the Sullivan Jackson home and just give them a, 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 just a lot of things to see. Even uh, navigate them to the uh, Live Oak Cemetery and places of that nature, the Old Depot. You know, all of this plays a role in what Selma is and I feel like I have a responsibility making sure that I give them the whole story. So, but yeah. For years you worked along with Mr. Sally, I did. Oh man, Mr. Sally was just a, a jewel, a blessing, and just to be there in his space with him and just to be able to learn from him, you know, it was like invaluable. And even those things that he shared with me, even to this day, I still remember, you know. And so, uh, man, I could never, never, ever uh, replace uh, someone as close to the movement as Mr. Sally was, but I'm just forever indebted to what he taught me, what he shared with me. And he was really committed to it. I mean, Miss Sally would come out here every day. You know, he would come out here, he would meet people, he would greet them, and he would talk with them. You know, so yeah, it was just inspiring for me to see someone that was right there doing 65 and still to be here now with me. So I didn't take it for granted. Uh, what days are you here? What are your hours? Yes. Do you have contact information that people want to know? Right. To yes, sir. Uh, I'm here pretty much every day, Randy. Honestly, um, I'll be here from Monday to Sunday. Now, some days, because life kicks in, I have things to do, but whenever I'm done, I try to get out here. So I'm out here from Monday to Sunday. And um, also, if anyone want to talk uh, uh, to probably book a tour, they can find me at 334-419-8132. Or you can send me an email at columbusmitchell at yahoo.com. Like to say to our audience. Well, I just want to say that take time out to come and to come and check out your city. I know you may be a local that's listening, or you may be someone from afar, but come out to Selma and just walk around and see the historical Selma. We have so much to offer. We have these beautiful Allenbellum homes. We have this beautiful downtown. These buildings are beautiful, and some of them are actually on the verge of becoming renovated. So just stay tuned. 
we have a lot going. We got the interpreter center down here now. This, the trajectory is 2025 is going to reopen. Uh, Michael, a gentleman that ran for, I think, city council, he's actually working on lighting the bridge up. So please come down here in Selma and just follow the pilgrimage that people come from all over the world. And I love to be able to meet you. I love to be able to say welcome to Selma, whether you're local or whether you're from afar. Thanks.